Do you have any tattoos of other people's shit? I have an atmosphere tattoo. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. I got to dab you up for that. <laughs> yeah, bro. I got an atmosphere tattoo. And last night. And I have a Wu-Tang tattoo. Real, that's so funny. Yeah. Do you want to plug what you just dropped last night? Uh, yeah, yeah. I just dropped um, a record with, with Slug of Atmosphere. And... Um, it's sick. The story behind it's fucking hilarious too. Oh, I'd love to hear it. So, so I've known Slug for several several years now, right? Like, um, and this was a super organic record. Like, it wasn't like one of those things. Like, I never talked to him before, and I just sent him an open verse, and I was like, "How much for a feature?" You know what I mean? <laughs> it was like a bit more personal than that because we've known each other for a while now. Um, so when I was a kid, now mind you, I I grew up being like an atmosphere super fan. Right, like Rhyme Sayers. I, I was really into like Rhyme Sayers, Def Jux, fucking like super weird underground niche pockets of rap, right? Um, but that's not all I listen to. I listen to everything, but like I really vibe with that stuff. Um, so I got asked to hand out flyers for his show at the House of Blues in exchange for a free ticket to the show. Um, and I was like, oh, sick. Yeah, for sure. And um, as a result of being on the street team for the show, I got put in an email thread. Um, and one of the emails on there was was Sean's <laughs> slugs. And I was like, hmm, okay. So I fucking emailed them, dude. I actually have a screenshot of the email right over here. But um, <laughs> I fucking, I emailed them and I pretended that I work for a radio station. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hey, I want to set up a huge radio interview for you on the day of your show and this and that. And, like, long story short, I got backstage <laughs> and I fucking met him. And um, he was super cool, man. And, like, we we hung out and it was me, him, and my homie Dart Adams. And, like, we chilled and talked about, like, Prince for, like, two hours. You know what I mean? Because uh, he's a, you know, Slug's a Minnesota guy. So we chilled and we talked about Prince. And he gave me one of the best pieces of advice I've ever received in my whole entire life, right? Because it was like, this was around the time of like the 20th anniversary of Overcast. And like, he was having this like realization that like, holy shit, like I've been doing this for 20 years and like, we're still selling out shows, you know, which is fucking crazy from an independent standpoint. That's nuts. And I, I, I was talking to him and I was like, dude, how did you do this? Like, what was it that, you know, and he told me that like, you got to be really good at failing. Like, you got to get extraordinarily good at failing. And that conversation changed the trajectory of my whole entire fucking life. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that happened, and then he took a selfie with me and posted it on his Twitter, and I thought that was, like, the coolest shit ever. <laughs> so we kept in touch back and forth for, like, you know, six, seven years, just checking in every now and then. And um, I made the, the demo of the empty space song and it was just me on keys and guitar and me singing the first verse and I sent it to him and I was like yo what do you think about this like are you interested in something like this and he hits me back a week later with a verse on it <laughs> yeah really yep. that verse that you guys used mm -hmm. wild yep. yeah man and he was like complimenting my writing and I'm just like holy shit like this is one of my favorite writers of all time complimenting my <laughs> writing like what the fuck you know yeah really cool shit man really cool shit and what, when did you then add, like, the beat to it that wasn't just the keys? Um, we added the beat after. But originally it was just guitar and piano. Wild. That is a crazy story. Yeah. And full circle. Very like, full circle. That shows that you are on the right path. Definitely. That you didn't, like, not fuck up that friendship, but, like, you didn't. You weren't using him. You were inspired by him. Yeah, and then it worked out. Because it was all you love. Were, yeah. You were using your own path. You weren't doing yeah, it. Any exactly. Other way. It was all love, man. It was all love, and it was just like you know, I was a fan first. Yeah. <laughs> Which like at sometimes. Did you ever show him your tattoo? <laughs> so when he took, <laughs> so when no, not in person. When we took the picture together, I went like this. You know what I mean? And I have like I got it when I had like a month clean. It says love life. <laughs> 
<laughs> fucking listen i was a kid man this is around the time when i got massachusetts on my neck and all that too. but like we took the picture and i did like one of these right not knowing that it would show up and he he hit me up right away and he was like, bro, do you have a fucking, is that a fucking atmosphere tattoo? <laughs> and I was like, ah, And yeah, he felt man. the same way you felt when someone shows you their right. tattoo. And now I know. But it's, yeah, but it's cool. It's cool. But it's just one of those things, man. Like, and we've talked about it. Slug and I have talked about it before where it's just like one of those like weird things. Like when people say this, this stuff, like all this heartfelt stuff, like you changed my life. You did this, you did that. It's just like. Sometimes it's I don't know how to respond. Yeah, it's because it's so crazy and like I have the meanest imposter syndrome. Mm, me too, bro. In the fucking world, dude. Yeah, like like my imposter syndrome is nuts. You know what I mean? Like I'll like go and I'll do a show. Like when I was on tour and I was playing for like like I played the rave and there was like eight hundred people there in Milwaukee in the middle of fucking nowhere, and like they knew who I was. You know, and I got off and like they wanted my autograph and they wanted to buy things and they wanted pictures. And and I'm just like, they're, they're fucking lying. They're just doing this to like make me feel better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's what my head would tell me because like there's no way, you know, like these these silly little songs from this fucking dude from Peabody is like, you know, it's just the wildest shit. Why don't you think you deserve it? I don't necessarily think I don't deserve it. I just oftentimes question reality. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, is any of this even fucking real? Yeah. You know? 